Hi everyone. Um, in this video we're going to look at the field tuning method to determine the um, controller settings for the single loop jacketed reactor and the control station loop pro trainer software. Okay, so we're going to start by um, selecting the controller in the system. Okay, so the controller here controls the outlet temperature by changing the flow of cooling water through the cooling jacket. All right, so for the field tuning method, the first step is to turn the controller on. So the controller needs to be on in P-only mode. So we need to turn off, or we need to make sure that the integral mode and the derivative mode are turned off. Okay, so starting with the controller turned on in P-only mode, I'm gonna do small step changes in the set point. So I'll go from 92, maybe up to, we'll say 94 degrees Celsius. And, enter and then watch this change okay so I make the change going in the up direction and then I'm also going to step back down so back down to 92 and look at the response so in this case our tuning criteria is going to be about quarter amplitude decay so we want to change our um, we want to change our proportional term until we achieve our tuning criteria so if we look at the step up we don't really have a second peak to valley so our gain we can see already is too small so on the controller setting, I'm going to now go and increase the gain up to, let's say, 8 for now. See how that works. Okay, I'm going to apply another step increase. Look at the response. Okay, this looks a lot better. We can see that maybe the, the second, um, second peak to valley is a little bit below a quarter. See, so we'll step back down to 92 and look at it on the on the down slopes. Um, again, we can see that the second peak to valley is much less than one quarter, so we can still go a little bit higher on our gain. So I'm going to change our gain up to about 10 and see how that looks. Okay, so from here again, do a step increase to 94. Look at the system response. Oops. Now looking at this, I can see that looks to be about a quarter. Maybe it's a little bit higher, uh, but for the sake of this example, call that okay. I'll step back down to 92. Look at the system response. Again, second peak to valley, it looks to be a little less than a quarter. So if I average these out, it looks to be about a quarter amplitude decay. So my um, gain setting of about 10 seems to be about right. So now. In the, for the field tuning method, once you determine the gain, value of the gain that gives you your tuning criteria, uh, before turning the integral on, we need to back off on the gain because the integral term is going to contribute to the, um, to the decay ratio as well. So the field tuning method says back off by about 10%. This is just a general heuristic. If you don't achieve the performance that you need by backing off on 10%, we're going to need to come back up to the gain and back off by... Um, a little bit higher percentage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and decrease this by 15% because oftentimes it's more, we need to decrease by a little bit more than 10% to have enough of the integral action. Because again, we need to have sufficient integral action that the oscillations are occur around the set point. So we want high gain as possible and we want minimal integral term where the oscillations are occurring around the set point and we're essentially doing this by a trial and error method. That's the purpose of the field tuning. So I'm going to change this to 8.5 now. I'm going to turn on my integral mode. Let's just start with, I'll change it to 5, increase it a little bit, and just see how this goes. So again, now I'm going to go back, step up to 94, and look at the response. Okay, let the system settle off. Okay, you can see here but my oscillations don't quite occur around the set points. Okay, so I probably need to lower the... I probably need to lower the interval term a little bit. On the step down, we can see the same thing. Oscillations aren't quite around the set point. And also it's good because we can see my decay ratio is below one quarter. So let's drop this down to about three and see how this looks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and step, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and step up to 94. Okay, look at the system response. We can see decay ratio looks a little bit below a quarter. Oscillations are occurring around the set point. All is good. Go ahead and step back down. Okay, again, we see oscillations around the set point. The K ratio here now 
It looks to be about a quarter on the on the way down. Oscillations are occurring around the set point. So this actually looks like really nice control. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and our controller is tuned for, tuned using the field tuning method. Now, if you wanna add the derivative term, uh, to add the derivative term, we would um, calculate it based on the, the period of oscillation. And you can determine this based on other methods, which we will talk about later in other videos. So that's all for field tuning. Um, good luck with tuning your control system using this method.